Okay, welcome back to Strength Coach Tutorials. I know it's been a long hiatus and we're through the holidays now and I want to get back to trying to post these videos regularly. Today we're going to start a video series on how to create this attendance template that you see here. So this template is good for tracking the attendance of any of the teams that you may be working with. Some of the features of it, down the side here on the left, you have a spot to put all of your athletes. We have a spot down here where you can have a different legend for what you want to track. And then drop boxes throughout the attendance template to track what is happening with the athletes. Check mark meaning they were here, an L meaning they were late, and an A meaning they were absent. And then down at the bottom, it will track the number of athletes that you have and then how many athletes attended the session out of that total athletes. So you can see here, we have three check marks, so it'll tell you three out of 10 athletes were at that session. So let's get started. See here is I've already pre-formatted the size of my cells. I've made one that's bigger for the athlete name, then I've made some smaller ones, and then a larger one for the notes section. These smaller ones we're gonna use for the dates. The other thing you're gonna need to get in order to finish this template is if you wanna use a check mark as your um, attended session icon, um, I got one here. I just have this website right here. When I click on it, it'll take me to this website. Um, it just shows you how to put a check mark into your file. They have them right here, copy and paste. You can just copy and paste the one you want. So I'll just hit Control C, go back to my Excel file, Control V to paste it in there. And that's the, the quickest way that I found to get a check mark into your sheet. So let's start to outline the sheet. If we go back here, you can see we have one big kind of rectangular box, so let's create that first. So we're gonna go down, it goes to 35 cells and then across, and I'm gonna use the borders, more borders, to create a large, thick border all the way across. So that's gonna be the outline of our attendance sheet. Then the next piece we're gonna create is just the top here where we can put the title, and all we do for that is we're gonna merge two cells or two rows all the way across. We're gonna use merge and center. And then I'm gonna put a border on the bottom there. And I'm gonna use a slightly less thick border right in there. And I'll put team attendance template. And we'll just send that to the left side to make it look nice. Um, to increase the size of the font, all you wanna do is just bold it and then you can use the A up or down arrows to make it bigger or smaller, right about there looks good for me. Looking back, we're gonna to wanna to put an athlete name box. So we'll take two rows, merge and center those, and we're gonna create a border around that. I'll use a thicker border right across there. We'll put athlete name in there. And our example, last name, comma, first name. And you can see that's too big, so we're just gonna shrink that down. And I'll center that. It should sit right nicely in the middle there. Then the next thing I've done it is set it up for January. So we're gonna use five weeks for January. One, two, three, four, five. Merge and center those. And then four weeks for February. One, two, three, four. And we'll put January in there. And February. And neither of those fit right now, so we'll just shrink those down a little bit. Make them go right in the middle. I'm gonna unbold those. And then I'm gonna use the Mondays in January and February. So I'm gonna look at my calendar, and I use 1, 8, 15, 22, 29 for the dates. 1, 8, 15, 22, 29. And when I shrink those down and center them, I'll get that, and then for February, if we go down to the calendar, we have 5, 12, 19, 26. 5, 12, 19, 26. And you can really put, if you wanted to do this for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or whatever, you could just add as many of these boxes as you want. And we'll center that. And then the next thing I have on my sheet is I have check marks underneath. So we'll put the check mark that I copied I'm just gonna paste that all the way across. Good, and, and then a note box along the side here. I'll put notes in there. 
Then we'll just put some borders throughout there. So I want a thick border along the bottom. And then along the middle, we're going to use thinner borders. So that looks pretty good to me. Maybe we'll just thicken up this border here on the side. Make a thick one on the side. So that's good. We'll make the notes section just a little bit bigger. And then it's starting to look like our attendance template over here. Um, now at the bottom we have a legend. So you can see at the bottom I have the check mark, absence, and late. So we'll make three boxes down there. And I'll put a border around those. <clears throat> and a thin border in the middle. So we put the borders down at the bottom and I'm gonna put my check mark in there. So I'll control copy that, paste it in the first one. And then I'm gonna use um, an absence for an A and a late. So you can see those are all wonky. So we'll just fix the formatting on those um, and I'll make them all the same size. We'll go 12 and I'll fix the border here. Whenever you copy and paste the borders can uh, sometimes get a little wonky so those look pretty good and then one of the things that I've done with that is I've colored it so I'm going to use a green color um, for here I like this kind of pale green absence we want a red color and late I usually use a yellow color so it's kind of like your stop stoplight formation and then I just kind of bold these all the way across And we can use the headings attended, absence, and late. And then I just shrink the fonts down a little bit and I'll justify that next to that. And we'll put a border around those. And you can see all this really is is just a lot of creative borders and organization and you can make a, a pretty nice looking form. And then the next thing we'll do is we'll put our legend bar across here legend send that to this side shrink that down put a border across that one to separate it from everything else then the last thing all we have to do here is put the totals so we'll make another thick border across there and this one's going to be a little different we'll put a thick border and then thin ones through the middle and this is as simple as going totals with um, some double dots hitting that we'll shrink it down a little bit and then right just to find that so you can see here now this is the basis of our actual template with a couple of borders through the middle here you'll see kind of this shape up And there you have it, there's kind of the basis of our what we're gonna use as our template. Um, and then we'll just put some lines through the middle. And we'll add some shading for color. So I'm just gonna highlight these every other one. And to do this, all I'm doing is I'm highlighting it and then I'm holding control the entire time to allow me to select um, multiple rows at the same time here. And then I'll just shade those in with light gray color. Just allow them to stand out a little bit. Um, maybe I'll shade this legend section in with a darker gray color. And some of the top bars will use a darker gray as well. And you can see it really starts to come together. So in the next video, what we'll do is we'll start to put the formulas and the drop down menus in there so that we can select um, any of the um, athletes, whether they're here, absent, or late. And then we'll put a formula in the bottom that allows us to calculate how many of the athletes were here. If you like this video, um, you can find me on Instagram at DSM Strength. And now a newly formed strength coach tutorials. in which I'm going to be using that channel to post um, quick tips and um, examples of templates and all that sort of thing. Um, and then you can also find me at my website at www.dsmstrength.com. 
If you enjoy these videos, please like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel because it uh, really helps me out. Thanks for watching.